basically Wings has been going for 30 years. So as an archive of women's voices, particularly over that 30 year period, it is incredible. And I would recommend for anyone who wants to know anything about women's history or the history of the women's movement um, and what women's voices were doing to really go and have a stroll through that archive. There are some brilliant, brilliant gems in there. I particularly love the programs with Angela Davis. And being able, for example, you know, being able to actually go and, and stroll through an archive that has those actual voices, I think is an amazing tool. Um, basically, originally, uh, Frida started it with her long-term partner back in 1986. She was funded by NPR's satellite program. They had a development fund going and it went up on the public radio satellite in spring of 86. Um, basically, it sort of was born out of the global women's movement after the UN Women's Conference. And about 10 years later, after those first 10 years, of the decade for women, uh, people stopped funding these things. But by then, the network had been created. And basically then, as now, although we want to go somewhere else, but it is primarily, we get very little funding uh, to survive, I have to say. We, we work on an absolute shoestring. Um, and most of the women are coming up out of the community radio network. And a lot of women that are working in community radio, they simply give us their, their programming and their interviews. We try to pay people as often as we can. Um, as I say, we work on a shoestring budget. And since I've been involved in the project, Frida and I have been doing an awful lot of talking. I'm a trade unionist. I want people paid properly. So we're starting to look at getting funding. I'd also like to involve one of the things we did, for example, we covered the women's marches around Europe. And in doing that, we had a whole range of people from professional journalists, broadcasters, all the way down to students. And I, well, I shouldn't use the word down, um, across to students. And we want to continue doing more of this sort of mix. We want to be a platform where women can learn. We want to be a platform where women can be supported. Um, we want to be a platform that gives um, the tools for women really on the ground to be talking on an international level. One of my favorite programs that I produced recently was on climate change. And there was this brilliant 22-year-old female Ugandan farmer talking about how she's changed her life to, to take climate change into account for her farming and her crops. You don't hear those voices.